A while ago, I showed a proof of concept for a really fast multi-item sorter, one that could take care of a full ender chest of shulkers in under a minute. As a reminder, it uses hopper minecart filters, the items are ejected, go over some pre-fill hoppers, and just drop down into little families. So we get a family of end blocks, family of ocean blocks, decorations, valuables, you get the point. There's no way to load a full shulker box in under a minute, so for the time being, uh, I designed this to just reload the shulkers by hand. The first video on this was just a demonstration, but a few people said they were interested in actually building it, so here we'll look at it in a little bit more detail, enough that you could construct it if you wanted to. If you wanted to start building and know how to use Lightmatica, the schematic for this is in the description. Here's a single slice of the multi-item sorter. The way it works is you run all your items in a stream over some hopper minecarts. To set those up, we have 10 hoppers down in here, each one with a different item we'd like sorted out by this filter slice. So if we hit this button, we'll send some hopper minecarts out, and each one of these will be pre-filled with five of those items. Then once you've passed the items over top of the hopper minecarts, we can go ahead and break them. So one pulse will eject one hopper minecart. The items get reabsorbed by the filters so that you never have to refill these. And then a second longer pulse will eject the second hopper minecart. You can see all the blocks here, and this is pretty much all there is to it. You send the minecarts out, you run your items over, you bring the minecarts back in. When one of the hopper minecarts has absorbed items, they will be passed along and fall out at the end here. This is also a range that if you want, you can fully hopper lock it when it's not in use. We're using the mud blocks above the filter hoppers to lock those, and the hoppers which return the minecarts to the dispensers here are locked using the barrel and actually the dispensers themselves. The setup here which breaks the hopper minecart I got from Il Mango's channel. Filter is set up to be too wide tileable, so you can stack as many of these one after the other as you want. I found it easiest to clump three filters together and group together their output. Each filter pulls out a little less than 10 stacks of items. This way, each of the clumped outputs gives you a little more items than what you need to fill up a shulker box. Because we're using pre-filled hopper minecarts in this thing, all five of the items in your hopper minecarts have to be distinct items. What this means is that if you group your filters into clumps of three to fill up a single shulker box, that shulker box can have at most six stacks of any one item type. The design is also pretty nice because you don't need to build more control circuitry if you make it bigger. So same thing here, you just have a little button going into the dispensers here, sends off the minecarts. And then same as before, one short pulse to eject the first minecart in each filter, and a second longer pulse to eject the second minecarts. The filters are also designed so that they not only tile side by side, but mesh together. This way, two rows of filters can share a single item stream. To send the items through the machine, I'm using a shulker box yeeter that I also found from Il Mango's channel. This does burn the shulker boxes, so you will need a shulker farm if you're going to use this thing repeatedly. To set up the item stream, you just need to align your items against a chest or something that puts them nicely in between the two halves. You're just going to pick one of the sides of filters and run some water down it. I'll turn off shaders for a second since it's easier to see water that way. The items won't get stuck as they pass through as long as you have enough momentum coming into the machine, and then three blocks of moving water followed by an air block repeating all the way down to the end. And then what you do with the leftover items is up to you. You could destroy them, feed them into a larger bulk storage system, whatever you want to do. I've also set up some control circuitry that you can copy from the schematic if you want, but it's also not doing much complex. I imagine most players who are in need of something like this would be capable of setting up the redstone here. In a nutshell, when we hit the button to start the machine, it will send off the hopper minecarts, unlock all the hoppers. After a short delay, it will start yeeting the shulkers, just enough of a delay to make sure the hopper minecarts are in place before the items flow over. This one I also set up so that the hoppers here only unlock for the couple of seconds that the items are passing back over the pre-fill hoppers. But of course, there's no reason you couldn't unlock and lock the hoppers with a lever. Thanks for watching, and I wish you the best with your inventory.